Hey guys, Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I just want to tell you a few VST best practices uh, for when you go out, you start adding your VSTs, you start finding them, all of that. So the first best practice for VSTs, especially if you're only on Reason, uh, and that's really the only DAW you use, just install the 64-bit version of the VST. You don't need to install the 32-bit because that won't run on Reason easily there's a there's a way of doing it but if you've got the option just do the 64 bit and you don't need the uh, AAX you don't need any of those other ones just do the 64 bit VST you'll save some hard drive space number two install all of your VSTs in the same plugin folder this will make it much easier to keep track of things and it will make it much easier for reason to scan all your files and keep everything up to date so um, please just go find whatever folder you want you know maybe C program files uh, VST plugins that's what some of mine defaulted to but other ones default to something different just put them all in one folder that way you can always keep track of it and number three this is a big one this is a huge one I've made videos about why this is so important um, and you should like and subscribe to the channel now so that I can keep reminding you because if you don't do this one day you are going to get fucked hand to God you're gonna get fucked so the third and most important thing to do with your VSTs now that they're all in one file is to back that file up whether you've got it linked to Dropbox or you make a copy of it on an external hard drive or whatever it is you do when you lose your plugins, sometimes you lose your songs. It's like some of these program plugins are gonna aren't always supported. Some of them are out of date. Some of them you'll lose your license link or whatever it is. Back up your plugins, or at some point when your computer crashes, because it will crash, you will lose your ability to generate these sounds, and then your songs will basically disappear. Um, I cannot tell you how many songs I've lost through lost samples um, and this is slightly different but um, that's only because we were with rack extensions they always took care of themselves and back many many moons ago when I was using Pro Tools I when I was legally using Pro Tools with all of my legal plugins um, I, I had a computer issue and um, basically lost all the effects on my songs and was just left with raw audio files that sounded nothing like what I recorded so back it up so let's review one only install the 64-bit version if you think you're only using reason it's just gonna save you a lot of hassle Two, install them all in one folder and three back that folder up keeping them in one folder makes it easier to back it up and then it also makes it easier to actually install Reason to that, or to make Reason scan that folder. And I made a video about how you actually add VSTs in Reason. There's a link up there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Are there any other VST best practices that I might have missed out on? Let me know. Thanks.